So let's look at an example using arc length. So remember the setup here is that we want to calculate the length of some curve. We know how to calculate lengths of straight lines, and so what we do is we approximate our curve with a bunch of straight line segments. We calculate the length of each segment. We add them all up. We recognize that what we're looking at is essentially a Riemann sum, and we arrive at this integral formula. Okay? Now, the, the trouble with that integral formula is, of course, it involves a sum under a square root. We, we have enough experience to tell us that typically these integrals are not that pleasant to deal with. Um, and, and in fact, most arc length integrals, if you just choose any function, you know, pick your favorite function, you write it down, you set this up, you're probably going to arrive at an integral that you don't know how to evaluate. Uh, most of the time it doesn't work out so nicely. Okay? Um, so you find that most exercises involving arc length, they, they involve kind of strange looking functions that have been carefully chosen to make sure things work out. Right? So if you find that the functions look a little bit funny in your exercises, it's because we're making sure that you actually get an integral that you know how to evaluate, right? We have to choose carefully. So let's look at this particular example. f prime of x, we get 1 over 4x minus 1 over x. And we want to square it, right? And add 1. So 1 plus f prime of x squared. We have 1 plus, so what are we going to get? We're going to get 1 over 16x squared. The cross term is going to be minus 1 half, just 1 half, right? Because uh, 1 quarter x times 1 over x, we just get a quarter. There's two of those in the cross term. Twice a quarter gives a half. And then we have plus 1 over x squared. And now you can kind of see what we, what's been done here, right? 1 minus a half gives us plus a half. And things have been carefully chosen to make sure that actually once you do this calculation, 1 plus f prime squared, the thing you end up with is a perfect square, right? Because the only difference between you know, this square that we started with and this one is plus instead of minus, which is what happens if you change this minus to a plus. Okay? You'll find this pattern fairly often, so beware of it, right? If you see this sort of the same thing, but with the opposite sign, that tends to tell you how to go back. You might not immediately look at this and realize that that's a perfect square. So referencing back to the thing you started with tends to help spot what's going on. So now we get 1 over 4x plus 1 over x, all squared. All right. Well, now we can do the integral. So the arc length for this particular curve is going to be the integral from 1 to 2, square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Okay, 1 to 2. Square root of this square, right? And the thing inside the square is positive because x is going from 1 to 2, so we don't have to worry about absolute values or anything like that. The square and the square root, they cancel out. We just get 1 over 4x plus 1 over x. Integrate with respect to x, right? So the result is 1 over 8x squared plus the natural log of x. And we evaluate between 1 and 2. So plugging in the upper limit, 2 squared is 4, right? So we get 4, 4 over 8. Obviously, we're going to simplify that. Plus the natural log of 2. Subtract, we put in the lower limit, 1 over 8 plus the natural log of 1. And of course, natural log of 1 is just 0. So we have 4 eighths minus 1 eighth. That's why maybe why we didn't bother to simplify, right? It's easier to subtract. 3 over 8 plus the natural log of 2, and that gives us the length of our curve.